What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you 20 of the best free iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks. I feel like I just did this, but I'm back again today to show you 20 more new free jailbreak tweaks. By the way, if you want to see a separate list of 40 other jailbreak tweaks that are free for iOS 13 that I did like a few weeks ago, check out the video in the cards or down below in the description. All of the tweaks that I talk about today, except for an additional five, are all free tweaks. I did just want to highlight some really cool paid tweaks. Of course, all the tweaks that I talk about in this video and their repos will be down below in the description as well. All right, guys, let's get started. In the last video, I talked about Lights Out, but paired with IDAP, it makes for a really cool experience. Lights Out changes your phone to light mode or dark mode, depending on if there's a light source near it, and IDAP makes it so that your icons have a light or dark mode as well. The two of these tweaks paired together make for a good experience. iDapt is paid, but it's definitely worth it. You are also going to need to use a theming engine called Snowboard for this tweak as well. Cast Switcher brings the iPad multitasking view to iPhone. If you want this tweak and a lot more, definitely check out Springtimize 5. This tweak can do so much. It can resize your icons, and that's just scratching the surface. It's an all-in-one tweak, and it's definitely worth checking out. Cask 2 is an update for iOS 13 on the idea by Ryan Petrich. This tweak animates different page views and looks pretty cool. Piano Pass lets you unlock your iPhone by playing the piano. I was going to show this off in my last video, but Mitsuha Forever didn't properly work with this. Status Viz is really cool and it gives you a visualizer on the status bar. Pair that with Mitsuha Forever, of course, and you have a pretty cool looking phone. Unlock Sound brings back that familiar old unlock sound to iOS 13. Volume Percent shows you the volume percentage on the HUD. On iPhone 10 style devices on a regular YouTube video, if you try to make the video fit the screen, it winds up cropping the video. With Zoom for YouTube too, you can zoom into the video without fully cropping parts of the video out. It may or may not work for you, but this is pretty interesting. Barmoji is super convenient and adds a bottom bar to quickly access your emojis. Nougat is a pretty cool tweak that gives you an Android inspired notification center. You can even pull down to access quick actions like turn on and off Wi-Fi, adjust brightness, and turn on and off the flashlight as well. Awesome Page Dots spices up your page dots on your home screen and gives them sort of a transition like cylinder or barrel would. JB Stickers is a sticker pack that has jailbreak related stickers in it. Stick Around lets you pin your favorite tweak settings page to the top of the settings app for easier access. Battery Percent X lets you see the battery percentage on iPhone 10 style devices. This also gives you sort of a battery bar and I think that looks really cool. I do prefer half over this tweak though, and that is a tweak that I detailed in the previous video. Drag spring gives you a nice elegant way to pull down on your settings page and respring your device. Pill volume gives your volume and brightness controls in the control center a pill-like shape. This definitely looks different and it looks pretty cool. Power module is a tweak that adds toggles such as respring, reboot to your control center. Dots 2 shows colored dots on your phone to correspond with notifications. It looks really simple and it looks really cool. You can tap on it to view your notifications. Prism reimagines your control center and gives it more of a iOS 9 style look. Obviously it looks a little bit more modern, but it looks pretty cool. Gesto reminds me of the OXO days and combines your control center with your app switcher. You also can make it so that you could slide the control center in from the side and then you have your regular control center view. Percent time pulsate is an interesting idea for a tweak where it shows you the battery percentage where it normally says done. Don't worry, no functionality is lost. You can still press the button and the icons will go out of wiggle mode. With dismiss progress, while you're installing a tweak, instead of pressing restart springboard, you can press close and get back to Cydia and install anything else you want. IK settings cleans up your settings pages and makes them look more rounded. There's also a tweak here called circle settings. If you haven't noticed by now, the bottom bar looks a little bit different. That's thanks to this tweak called home bar sizer. 
I installed Barmoji and I realized it was kind of hard to reach the emojis with that big bottom bar in the way. This is an alternative to just getting rid of the bar completely. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed the tweaks that I talked about. And if you want to buy all five paid tweaks that I talked about in the video, then the total cost of all of them together is... $17.46. I know, that's a lot of money, but I hope that I offset the cost of that amount of money with the main 20 tweaks that were free that I did talk about. Also, I'm thinking of doing something in the future like Free Tweak Fridays where I ask you guys at the end of my videos to come up with tweaks and then I look at the comments and I pick some tweaks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. It's just something I'm throwing out there. So if you want your tweak to be featured in the next tweak video that I do, make sure that you comment what your favorite tweak I talked about in today's video was. And also let me know what tweak you want me to cover next. Anyway, though, like I said, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. You guys absolutely loved the last video I did, so I'm hoping that you guys really like this too. Also, while you're leaving that like, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on. That way you never miss out on an upload. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.